Hello. I'm not quite sure how to start this video. I'm just gonna try and explain the best I can. I'm quite exhausted at the moment, so I, I will try and do my best for you. So about four or five days ago, I believe, I asked out of the blue on Twitter whether anybody would be interested in my thoughts on mental health. Because I've been dealing with a lot lately and I always have had mental health issues. Um, most of it's caused by trauma, but later in life, um, it was also indicated that it might be due to ADHD. And so I had an assessment with a mental health nurse a couple of years ago who said that it's very likely that I have it. And so I was put on a waiting list to be seen by a psychiatrist and assessed so I can get treatment. <sighs> Unfortunately, as wonderful as the NHS is, and I mean that without any sarcasm, they have helped me and others a lot in the past with other issues, but when it comes to mental health, they're very underfunded, understaffed, so the waiting lists are tremendously long. And now years later, I still haven't been helped, so I went private and found um, a psychiatrist that I a gel with. Um, I get along with him very, very well. I liked him from the start. And B, he's very capable and very knowledgeable and he is the right person for me to see. So I went in thinking it was an ADHD assessment. The thing is, if you get assessed for ADHD or anything really, um, they will also look at everything else. So you have to go through your life, um, tell them in like red lines what you've been through, um, any trauma, any negative experiences, any you know significant points in your life that could have shaped the way you are. And as I went through like the big events, because there's a lot, but um, we didn't have time because oh, you only get like an hour or so, or a little bit more than an hour. Um, it dawned on me that I've been through a lot. <laughs> and the stuff that we discussed, or what I discussed with him at the time, was just the tip of the iceberg. So I felt quite bad about that because sometimes you forget. Like I've talked to other people who've been through a lot about this before, that you tend to forget what you've been through. And I know that's a like a survival mechanism of the brain, because if you held on to everything, like every moment of your life, then you wouldn't do anything. You would stop living. So it kind of makes sense. But I think I have forgotten a lot like a lot and I know there's a lot buried there as well so I went through that and that was very difficult but the other thing that I'm really struggling with since then apart from all the like new memories that came up you know not new but resurfaced memories uh, things that I've forgotten um, I spoke to my mom afterwards as well and she kind of told me a few things that I had kind of tucked away I didn't know anymore and then when she told me, I was like, oh, fuck, that too. Um, but the thing that, that hit me hard is that if I have ADHD, um, it was heavily hinted <laughs> that I also have a lot of other stuff going on, um, probably through childhood trauma and trauma after that as well, because up until my mid-twenties, life was very hard. A lot of dramatic stuff happened, a lot of tra traumatizing things happened, a lot of damaging things happened. And I always thought that, you know, I know I've got depression, I know I've got anxiety, um, and I thought it was just that. Because that's, that's what I've been told all my life, you know? And then to suddenly hear from a psychiatrist, a very good psychiatrist, 
that actually it's more complicated and it's gonna take a lot a lot a lot of work to find out what's going on and what needs to be resolved and well he already said that there's a lot of stuff there that needs resolving and work through and get proper treatment whether it's through therapy or medication or both and I, I don't know, for some reason that really broke me a little bit. Anyway, I asked on Twitter <laughs> whether anybody would be interested in uh, my thoughts on mental health stuff that I'm going through right now. It's not to give anyone advice, it's not to advocate for anything it's not to seek attention it's just to air my thoughts and maybe somebody somewhere who's going through similar things maybe it helps i don't know i just want it to be more openly discussed and i am i'm quite open about a lot of stuff but I'm also that person that will say stuff and then I regret it because then I'm like, I'm exposed, I'm exposed, I'm exposed. People are going to judge me for it, which they do, you know. Uh, luckily I have a lot of nice people around me, I know a lot, a lot of nice and good genuine people. Which hasn't always been the case, but I also know that people judge you for it if you have mental health issues, especially if it's more than just depression or anxiety. People treat you differently, even people that you know will treat you differently. And I find that very hard. And I also know that uh, if I want to get any sort of job and they'll find this stuff online, they'll probably, you know, take that in consideration in a negative way. And that sucks, because that stops people from talking about it. But I think it's important to... I think it's important to talk about it. And even though I really am fighting my fight and flight at the moment, I really don't want to put this out there. And I do at the same time. It's really hard for the reasons that I've mentioned. Um, And I'm a little bit all over the place right now, like I said. I am not very well organized, I'm brain foggy, I'm very chaotic in my head right now because I was... The thing that triggered it is I was watching some someone do a similar vlog about some very specific mental health issues they had and for some reason that really triggered me and I just start crying my eyes out and being really upset. And, um... <sighs> I was talking to a friend about this and I was saying that it's weird because I don't judge anyone on their mental health situation at all, no matter how serious it is. I am very understanding and tolerant and empathic and sympathetic towards mental health issues. But not not when it comes to myself and I don't know why that is. It's ridiculous. Like why can't I give myself that same kindness? I just... Lately I feel more broken than I have been, even though I, I am in a lot of big ways doing a lot better than I was even five years ago. Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm so mentally tired right now. Oh, but that's... You know, that's the way it is. That's the raw, unfiltered way of things. And I'm still putting on a bit of a, a front because, you know, um, 
Otherwise I'd just be a mess and nobody wants that. I don't want that either. I don't want that on the internet. <laughs> but I am very, very tired. Um, because it takes a lot of out of me every time. Like when I had my first session with, with my psychiatrist, I was just wiped out for a week and completely and utterly drained of everything. And whenever I have a setback like today, I have the same. I just, I'm so tired. But I want people to know that it's also okay. Even though you don't feel okay. Because <laughs> I certainly don't feel okay. But it's okay. And a lot more people struggle with stuff than we realize. And that's the other reason why I kind of want to just voice my, my thoughts on stuff that I'm going through right now. I was actually... <laughs> I was actually planning on making this vlog about something completely different mental health related, which I'm also struggling with at the moment, um, but suddenly this kind of overwhelming feeling came in and I was like, well, might as well start at the start, you know. My, ga my camera keeps glitching. My camera is also broken, just like me. <laughs> no, I'm... I don't mean that. I don't mean that I'm broken. It's just I feel broken. I, f I, I don't know why. I just feel broken. And then I think about the future, and what I want to achieve in life. And it just feels like I'll never get there because nobody's going to accommodate for stuff like this. <sighs> if you're not a hundred percent functional, people don't want you, and. That's something that I think about a lot, and the older I get, the worse that gets. Because then you have your age against you too. You know, I want to... I really want to do digital art, but half the time I'm too tired to hold a pencil. You know... <laughs> who's going to be sympathetic towards that? No one. For now, I'll just say, let me know whether you are interested in hearing my thoughts on these kind of things. Whether you want them regularly or not. Um, the vote on Twitter was weekly, but I think that might be too many times, I don't know. Maybe fortnightly would be the best way to go, but just let me know. Um, and I'll take it in consideration and also depends on how I'm doing and maybe the series will help someone or maybe I'll just delete them I don't know it depends it really depends I know previous vlogs of me really candidly talking about mental health health people in the past so maybe this will too I don't know thank you for listening to me in any case and if you're going through a rough time you are definitely not alone even when it feels like it a lot more people struggle than they let on and I think we should break that taboo and that's partially why I'm here because I want I want it to be normalized you know we're an intelligent species, or so we say. <laughs> so with intelligence does come, does come with psychological hiccups at times. You see it in intelligent species of animals too. It's just the way it is, and we shouldn't shame each other for it. But do what we can to help and educate and understand. Anyway, thank you. And um, I'm just sending much love to you all. <laughs>